Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I got a bunch of appointments I got to run off to, but I wanted to put out this quick video. So the Trump speech, of course, once again, a very powerful, positive reaction in the stock market. We heard pretty much the same rhetoric as we have been hearing since the uh, since the election. All right. He's going to do a trillion dollar infrastructure spending program. He wants fair trade, a uh, big increase in spending for the military repeal and replace Obamacare, uh, all that kind of stuff. We didn't hear too much about spending cuts. We, we know the sketchy details, and I've been over the sketchy details, and this has been the pattern now. The market is reacting on pro-growth rhetoric. As a matter of fact, fiscal flows now, they're flat. They're even slightly down. Um, ta IRS tax refunds are actually, once again, negative year over year. Uh, by about $9 billion. Um, so there's that. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about here, and it's, it's pretty interesting, is that the probability for a rate hike in March, at the March 15th meeting, that went way up overnight. All right, yesterday I looked at the uh, CME's FedWatch tool, and based on where Fed fund futures were trading, there was only a 35% probability of a rate hike in March. This morning, it is a 66.4% probability. So you had a huge, a doubling. And we know that the Yellen and her crew, the Yellen Fed, they like to follow the market. I mean, it's kind of ludicrous and ridiculous as the monopolist rate setter they should be setting policy, not looking at what the market thinks they should do. But, you know, what, what are you going to say? I mean, a bunch of idiots. Uh, but if it stays elevated at this level, 66.4%, or perhaps it'll go even higher, it's pretty much a done deal. Now, uh, you see the reaction, the zombie reaction. It's like, I, I got to laugh because it's always the same. They're buying the dollar. They're selling gold exactly what they've done in the past, which turns out exactly to always be the wrong thing to do. They sell gold into the hole. They buy the dollar at the top. The rate hike happens. You get a little, you know, reaction and then everything reverses. So I'm actually uh, selling into this dollar rally right now. I sold some dollar yen at 113.80. I'm looking to buy some uh, British pound, uh, pound dollar here at, uh, 122.95. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? And gold, by the way, uh, we saw a 25,000 contract build in open interest in the past week. I have to presume that that's new, fresh longs that came into the market from the price levels going from 1236 up to 1263. So they waited, they waited, they waited. Then, hey, I'm going to buy some gold. Typical, right? You got to flush these guys out now. You got the rate hike, so there's going to be more selling in gold. This does not reverse the fundamental outlook. All right? This does not reverse the fundamental outlook. Rate hikes are price increases. It's inflationary. We see this every single time. We see the zombie reaction wrong every single time. You have to go against it. Okay? You have to go against it. Uh, if you want to wait for the Fed meeting, you can. But I just, you know, when I see rallies in the dollar, I sell them. When I see sell-offs in gold, I buy them. All right? It always works out. Um, all right. I got to take off. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.